Imagine, if you will, a hidden code, a sacred blueprint that underlies everything in existence. These aren't man-made laws, constrained by time or geography, but cosmic laws, timeless and universal. They don't govern your actions with the threat of punishment, but guide your life towards greater wisdom and fulfillment. They've shaped your past, and they'll shape your future. But most importantly, they can illuminate your present. As we delve into these universal laws, may you find not just knowledge, but insight. Not just information, but transformation. The Law of Divine Oneness. This principle signifies that we are all connected, that we are all part of a divine infinite energy that is much greater than our individual selves. It teaches us that every action, every thought, every word we speak is not confined to the peripheries of our individual existence, but reverberates through the universe, affecting the whole. It's the understanding that your life, my life and all life is interconnected and interdependent. In recognizing the law of divine oneness, we understand that no one is alone. We are on this journey together. We are not merely drops in the ocean, but the ocean in a drop. For if all that we see, feel and experience is an extension of the same divine source, then love, kindness and compassion become the logical responses to all the interactions. It's about treating others with the same respect and care you would want for yourself. Understanding that a hurt inflicted upon another is a hurt inflicted upon yourself. This law is the epitome of the golden rule. Treat others as you wish to be treated. So how can we apply this principle in our everyday lives? Start by recognizing the divine in every individual you encounter. Treat every interaction as an opportunity to express kindness and understanding. When you speak, let your words reflect your understanding of this unity. When you listen, do so with the empathy that stems from knowing we are all branches of the same tree. The Law of Vibration This law suggests that everything in our universe, from the largest galaxies to the smallest particles, everything, including your thoughts and feelings, operates on distinct frequencies or vibrations. Nothing rests. Everything is in motion, constantly vibrating and resonating at different frequencies. If I want more money, I need to find out what the vibration or feel of money is, and try to match that frequency. If I want to feel love, I need to vibrate at the love frequency, which is the highest frequency. If I want a specific person in my life, both of us need to be tuned into the same vibration or frequency. To use this law to manifest your desires, you must match your vibration to the thing you desire. If you want to be among the stars, you must first feel like one. Recognizing this law changes how we view ourselves and our place in the world. We're not merely physical entities navigating through life. We are energetic beings, vibrating at certain frequencies. And these vibrations influence our experiences, our interactions, and our reality. Think about your thoughts and emotions. When you're filled with joy and positivity, you feel light, buoyant, almost as though you're vibrating at a higher frequency. Similarly, when you're sad or negative, you feel heavy, weighed down as though vibrating at a lower frequency. The Law of Correspondence This law states that what's going on inside you matches what's happening outside you. It says that your inner feelings and thoughts directly affect your outside world. So what's happening outside is just a reflection of what's happening inside you. As within, so without, it proclaims. If you feel good about yourself, everything around you seems great. If you feel bad, everything around you seems bad. If you feel peaceful inside, everything around you is peaceful. But if you're feeling messed up inside, you'll feel stress in your life. You're confronted with a powerful truth. You are the architects of your reality. You hold within you the power to shape your external world by altering your internal state. The thoughts you think, the beliefs you hold, and the attitudes you embody. All of these paint a vivid picture that becomes your life. The things you think about become the things you have to live with. To change your world, you must first change yourself, and the outside world will reflect that. The Law of Attraction This law states that like attracts like. Whatever you focus your attention on, whether it's positive or negative, you attract into your life. This is not mere philosophy, but a principle that has been recognized by ancient cultures, quantum physicists, and successful individuals around the world. The Law of Attraction is very similar to the Law of Vibration. You don't attract what you want, you attract what you are. The Law of Attraction also says that you need to believe that you can get what you want. If you want to attract money, but you can't see how it's possible and doubt it will happen, you're just like a wave in the ocean, pushed around by the wind. You can't expect to attract something that you don't believe you can get. If you want good health, you need to take care of yourself like your life depends on it. If you want money, be generous with it, and it will come back to you. If you want love, start by loving yourself and others. The Law of Inspired Action This law suggests that while you can visualize, affirm, and align your thoughts with your desires, nothing changes until you take action. However, this is not just any action. It is inspired action, action that originates from a place of alignment with your desires, intuition, and inner guidance. This law is the driving force behind the manifestation of your dreams. While the law of attraction helps you to align your thoughts and feelings with your desires, the law of inspired action propels you to move in the direction of those desires. It is the bridge that connects the invisible world of thoughts and the tangible world of reality. To get what you want, you have to play a role. Inspired action is not forced, it's not born out of desperation or fear. Instead, it is a joyful and enthusiastic movement towards your desires. It feels natural, effortless, and in complete alignment with who you are. It's when you're so excited about your vision that you're drawn to take action, not because you have to, but because you want to. 
the law of transmutation of energy. This law says that everything, including your thoughts, feelings, and words, is made of energy. And energy can't be created or destroyed, only be changed from one form to another. When you think or feel something, it doesn't just stop there. It turns into something that goes out into the universe. This law is where thoughts become things originates. You need to know that whatever thoughts and feelings you have, you're creating and attracting something in response to that thought. So you need to choose good thoughts and feelings, and you need to do this on purpose. Don't dwell on a bad thought too long, otherwise it might turn into a bad situation. Be quick to shift your thoughts. When you notice you're having a negative thought, change the energy of that thought by replacing it with a positive one. Do this quickly before the negative thought turns into reality. The Law of Cause and Effect This law says that you get back what you give out. What you do to others or to the world will come back to you. It is the law of karma. Everything that happens in life has a reason. Things are happening either to you or for you because of something you did. If you do good things, it benefits you. And if you do bad things, it also affects you. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Understanding this law empowers you with the knowledge that if you want to change the effects you experience, you must alter the causes you put into motion. You reap what you sow. You never reap mangoes if you sow apples. You will never reap love if you sow hate. You get exactly what you send out into the universe. What you give is what you get. If you give love, you get love. If you give money, you get money. What goes around comes back around. What you do or say doesn't just disappear. It always comes back to either reward you or hurt you. It might not come back right away, but it will come back. The Law of Compensation This law is one and connected with the law of vibration, attraction, cause of effect, and transmutation of energy. This law states that you will be rewarded in direct proportion to the value you provide to others, to the world. It encapsulates the principle that as you give, so shall you receive. The value you contribute to others, to society, to the world, will inevitably find its way back to you. This law is not confined to monetary or material gains alone. It transcends the physical realm, encompassing love, kindness, joy, and peace. When you give love freely, you find love. When you spread joy, you experience joy. The Law of Relativity This law says that nothing is good or bad by itself. Things are what you decide they are, it all comes down to the meaning you give them. This law urges you to step back from your individual experiences and see them from a broader perspective. What might seem like a significant problem to you might appear as a minor obstacle when compared to the challenges others face. Similarly, what you perceive as a small achievement might be a dream for someone else. The Law of Relativity tells you that you don't need to label everything around you. When something happens, you don't have to say whether it's good or bad. Instead, you can see it as the effect of a cause. You decide to give the right meaning to everything in your life. Everything that happens in your life is really neutral. It's only positive or negative because you label it that way. The Law of Polarity This law states that there are two ends to everything and everything has an opposite. Life has a start and an end. There's a spiritual world, and we're living in the physical world. There's the North Pole and the South Pole. There's a divine female energy and a divine male energy. Twin flames often seem very different from each other, but they're really one and the same. There is hot and cold, but they are simply different degrees of what we call temperature. There is good and bad, but they are simply different degrees of what we perceive as morality. In your life, the law of polarity teaches you that even during your darkest times, there exists the potential for light. In your greatest struggles, there are seeds of opportunity. In your deepest sorrow, the capacity for joy persists. The Law of Rhythm The universe has a natural rhythm or flow, and it doesn't like being disrupted. It teaches you that everything in the universe moves in a cycle or a pattern, akin to a pendulum swing or the changing of seasons. Just as the tide flows in and out, just as day turns into night and winter gives way to spring, every aspect of life is subject to this rhythmic motion. This law reminds you that your life, too, is subject to these natural rhythms. There are times of activity and times of rest, periods of growth and periods of retreat, moments of joy and moments of sorrow. You can avoid a lot of problems by being patient and letting things happen naturally in their own time. Chaos happens when you try to force things to happen on your schedule. This doesn't work and can leave you feeling frustrated. And the last law is the law of gender. This law has nothing to do with being male or female and everything to do with the masculine and feminine energies within ourselves and the universe. Whether you are a man or a woman, it's crucial to understand the relationship between the masculine and feminine energies that exist within all of us. There's no energy that's superior or better, just energies that are opposites but work together. Understanding the law of gender helps us appreciate the importance of balance. It tells us that to reach our full potential, we must harmonize both the masculine and feminine energies within us. This is not about being less of a man or less of a woman. It's about embracing all aspects of our nature to become complete individuals. These are ancient laws that the wisest people of the lands have always intuitively known and lived by. When you don't follow these laws, you're kind of fighting against how the world works, and that makes life really tough. It's not like someone is punishing you, but life can feel like a punishment because you're swimming against the current of the universe, if you're still here. Why not share which of these laws you've been following, or plan to start following from now on? I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope you have a beautiful day.